Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 16th to the 31st, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that we have to be mindful of during this time, Capricorn. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is Freya. This is Temperance. Temperance energy, Sagittarius energy. Now, if we're born on the cusp with Sagittarius, or we have strong Sagittarius within our chart, this part of our personality is going to want to kind of take over. It's also not going to be in as much balance as we would like it to be. Now, this can also be that we're going to find it rather difficult during this time to be in balance, to have things harmonized, to have things moving forward the way that we want them to. Something's always going to be coming up and making us have to change our plans or change, you know, the way that we thought we were going to do things. Let's look at our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is angels and masters. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. Angels and divinity, we are, are just connected. Our angels are wrapping their wings around us. Divinity is guiding us. There's going to be a need and there's going to be a desire to listen, to, to take things in, to, you know, to see ourselves with more openness, more honesty than we have before. And that's because our angels are protecting us and they're showing us and making us feel, feel safe. So let's look at our tarot energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. interesting okay so there's a road that's going to open up to you that you're kind of going to be pushed towards all right for the first half of this time so from the cancer time period ends on the 22nd of july so up until then you're going to pretty much have the reins but there is a sense here of of a dying way of the old self a rebirth of the new there is a sense here of being hit with it. I don't know how to describe it exactly right now. It's a sense of all of a sudden, everything that you've learned, it like hits you in the face all at once. Like you're going to have to be strong or resourceful or, you know, just kind of, you're going to, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, this is why I've been through everything that I've been through. It's for this moment. It's for this sense of, I mean, it almost feels like somebody steals the reins from us. And then we take them back again. Yeah. So just be mindful around this time, around this shift from, you know, Cancer to Leo time frame. And just be mindful of the beginning of Leo time frame where you can feel like somebody else is taking the reins. Like it, somebody else is calling the shots or, you know, it's it's about somebody else right now. It's not about about you or what you want. And so that's going to be something that, that can be difficult. It, it, it can be. With the king... Of, of pentacles this is you you're coming through as a king 
you're you're being told here to change the way that you look at things. There's there's a great level of prosperity to you. There's a great level of success to you. But there's also going to be the sense of okay, I'm going to take control. And again, remember, there's there's this feeling that the the reins they fall away, like they slip out of your hands and you're pulling them back. There's some sort of like it it, it feels like a a struggle. It feels like a bit of a you know, I need to take this back. I need to be in control of this. And yet somebody's trying to pull it away. So just be mindful. And you're going to have to use the resources of like everything that you've been through, everything that you've learned. And it's like, oh, this was why. And it's going to change the way that you look at things. But it's also going to put a lot of things into perspective. You're going to see actually here, Capricorn, that you're very successful. And this can make you like change your schedule or change the way that you look at things or change what you're doing. And you become more successful, more successful, more successful, because you're really starting to look at your power and what you want. But again, something is going to hit you where all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is why I had to be this strong, or this is why I had to learn these lessons. Because the the Ten of Swords is the person in the in the Rider Waite Smith deck laying flat on the ground with ten swords stabbed in the back. It's overkill. It can also be that a situation, we look at it, and it's like, it's overkill. We take it out of proportion, or it's out of proportion to what it needed to be. So just be very aware of this. This can escalate to something where we look at it later on and think, why did it have to get to that point? Like, that wasn't necessary at all. So just know that hindsight is going to be like, hmm, maybe you should have calmed down or maybe this person could have calmed down. But right now, it's going to be really, it's it's going to be intense. With the Seven of Cups, there's a choice that's being made. But there's also like new options opening up to you and new ways of seeing things forward. There's there's a real sense of, okay, I need to go after, after these dreams, after what I need, after what I want. But there's also a sense here of like, We've pushed something back and pushed it back and pushed it back. With the Four of Cups coming in, Divinity is bringing it right to the surface. And it's like, you've been focusing on the wrong things. And you've been thinking, oh, it has to be just this or just like this or it has to be perfect before I can do it. And Spirit's like, no, do it now. Do it now. So that's going to come forward very strongly here. But also, our dreams are coming out of the closet. Like, they're, they're, they're coming forward towards us. And they're saying, you know, why did you why did you forget about me like why did you forget about what you really wanted with judgment there is a sense of of rising but there's also a sense of of really looking at why you've done something or why you've been on this path or there's some sort of judgment that comes in there's something here where it really does change the way that you look at things and it's like oh i'm not doing this anymore like i'm not i'm not falling victim or prey or you know being held back by this and we rise out, out of darkness. And we're rising into new light and to new self. It, it takes us on a path that we didn't even think existed. So here with the two of, of swords, it's like, usually I see this as, oh, well, there's a third option. Like we always thought it would be one path or another. But here it's like, there's there's something of a blindsiding, you know, coming forward. And it's like, oh, I didn't even think that that direction or that way or that would be that wasn't even my, in my sphere of knowing. So there's something that's coming forward here where it's like, I didn't even think about this. The change your mind, change your life is going to be very important. We want more freedom. We want more of a sense of prosperity, but also a sense of, you know, this is how I have to move forward for me. This is what I need. We've been holding on to a lot of baggage. We have been. And we've just been kind of like, I just see it as like pilot into the caravan. Like, you know, bring it with us. We'll deal with it later. Bring it with us. We'll sort it out later. And there's going to be something here where it's like, no, you're going to sort it now. And that's, that's going to be kind of what happens when the reins get taken from us. It's like, we almost feel like, oh, well, the choice is being taken from me. Like, who the heck are you? And then we start to take them back. And it's like, okay, now I'm serious about the way I need to move forward for me. I'm serious about what needs to be done now. And it's divinity handing us a gift that we weren't even looking for. Like, we don't even see this as a gift when we first get it. It's going to be like, well, I'll, sh I'll show you. There's something here where it's, I'm just hearing pride cometh before the fall. It's something here that we want to be, like, very kind of braggadocious about. Or or, or there, there's something here where somebody comes in and they're like, oh, I can do it better better than you. And then they realize that they can't, they, can be, they realize that we're actually handling quite a lot and that it's, it's very difficult. So just be very, very aware here that you're going to be taken on a path that you just didn't even think of. And you're going to feel your angels being with you like every step of the way. But 
man, do you not, did you not imagine the way that you're going to be moving forward? And it's, it's going to be kind of exciting, but you're, you're first and foremost going to find it, it very frustrating. I mean, you like to be in control as do all earth sign energies. So having that, that, that control taken away, it, it teaches you. It definitely does. And it shows you something that you're, you're absolutely missing, you know, but and it's a beautiful something. It's not like, oh, you're missing this. This is really bad. It's like, no, you become very powerful because of this. And it right and, and you rise to a success or to a prosperity or to a even just a, a well being within yourself that you thought like, oh, that's past. Like that's not going to happen. And now it is happening and you're like, oh, I didn't I didn't even think this path could be part of me. So let's see the subconscious energy we have to be mindful of. Yeah, the five of pentacles. You know, the five of pentacles is feeling on the outside of wealth. It's, it's worry, it's doubt, it's fear, it's chaos. It's, it's the fight or flight mentality. It's, it's a place of lack. It's a place of anxiety. We have to be mindful because subconsciously that's been drilled into us. You're never going to have enough. You're never going to be enough. You're never going to achieve enough. Kind of like that old saying, never too rich nor too thin. I mean, it's toxic and you're going to be seeing subconsciously that there's a toxicity that has, has driven you. And made you felt like, well, you'll you'll never add up. So part of the way to counteract that or even rebel against it was, well, maybe I'm not even going to try this. If I'm just going to fail, you know, why would I even try? And now you're going to start to see, it's like, what the heck is this? Like subconsciously, you're going to hear this voice like echoing in your head and you're going to be like, what the heck is that? Like, that's not cool. That's not how I see myself. That's not how I want to see myself. It moves us to our chakra energy which is self mastery. And this is the solar plexus chakra. And this is just a sense of I'm falling into alignment with myself. I'm seeing myself more. I'm mastering what I want and what's appropriate for me. And I'm letting go of all the rest. It brings us to our subconscious tarot energy. And that's the knight of pentacles. That's us coming through as a knight, as a warrior, as somebody who's laying the foundation, laying the pathway for where we need to go, what we need to achieve, we're moving slowly and steadily. We want things to last. It's kind of like building a Roman road, right? It took forever, but those things are still around. And here, that's what we're doing. We're building something with profound, you know, dedication and diligence and attention to detail. And so as we're moving forward and people will be like, oh, well, you know, I'm moving so much faster than you. That's great. But I'm building something that will last while you're building something that will crumble apart. Think of the three little pigs. Like everybody wanted to be in the third little pig's house, right? Okay. But you also have tremendous, subconsciously, you have tremendous energy to keep on going. Again, your progress, slower. But the foundation that you're laying, so stable that people will be jealous, Capricorn. Okay. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn, and may blessings always be with you.